guys how many of you feel water of crystallization difficult to understand i have seen many of my students mugging up the definition of water of crystallization but not understanding it in a full fledged way so in this video i am trying to give that conceptual understanding and that feel of understanding in a fun loving way okay see guys so before i even go for the definition look at this example very interesting example imagine you have a pizza say it is a paneer pizza okay so paneer pizza or whatever may be the your favorite uh, pizza blueberry pizza chicken pizza or whatever so i am taking a paneer pizza okay so uh, you know i have certain paneer pieces here and there so here is a paneer piece here is a paneer piece yes or no so here and there you would observe a paneer pieces right okay so these many paneer pieces i have in this pizza and six friends are there so there are six friends six of you okay so six friends have to eat this pizza so what do i do i make six pieces right so obviously i have to make six pieces here let me make six pieces okay see piece number 1 piece number 2 okay piece number 3 4 five six okay so this is the first piece second piece third piece fourth piece okay fifth piece and uh, sixth piece okay so six members are sharing this pizza by cutting this way okay now each and every friend gets how many paneer pieces guys see the first friend the first friend is getting how many paneer pieces one and a half isn't it so he is getting one and a half paneer pieces right and the second friend is getting uh, he also gets almost around one and a half third friend gets completely two paneer pieces fourth friend is also getting completely two paneer pieces okay fifth one is getting one paneer piece and sixth one is getting one paneer piece why did i tell this guys this is what we mean by water of crystallization so you know what you write cu so4 dot 5h2o as the formula for copper sulfate okay so this copper sulfate we say it is blue in color okay fe so4 dot 7h2o as the formula for ferrous sulfate which is green in color okay and you write calcium sulfate dot half h2o as the formula where this is the formula of pop look at this half h2o 7 h2o 5 h2o this is what we mean by water of crystallization okay guys let me tell you one thing so all these are you know ionic solids actually they are they are ionic in nature okay so most of the compounds uh, that i have written here are ionic okay so all ionic compounds have a very very special structure okay say for example if you take one crystal of calcium sulfate okay so or one crystal of copper sulfate you know so that one crystal that one crystal might contain might contain many molecule of many molecules of copper sulfate guys okay right so it looks one crystal but that one crystal is not one formula okay that one crystal does not have just one copper and one sulfate ion it has got many molecules of copper sulfate those many molecules are arranged in a particular pattern okay so if you look at this say look over this structure okay guys if you look at this three dimensional structure you know here is a copper atom here can be a sulfate ion so here again can be a copper here again can be a sulfate so like this copper atoms and sulfate atoms are arranged you know in three dimensional way guys okay in three dimensional way so alternatively i am mentioning here it is not that alternatively they have to be present so they can be arranged random 
accordingly whatever the way uh, it is designed all these you will study in the higher classes but this is how the each crystal of copper sulfate can contain okay so these many copper ions and these many sulfate ions everywhere they are there in this crystal what can happen is sometimes here in there h2o can get trapped okay so h2o h2o can get trapped guys okay say for example here 1h2o or uh, here 1h2o right here 1h2o here 1h2o like that here and then everywhere in the crystal some h2o's can get trapped from the atmosphere okay so it is those h2o's what are they? these are water molecules okay trapped water molecules so they are trapped water molecules okay so these trapped water molecules are called water of crystallization okay now if you have to talk about one copper sulfate say this is one molecule of copper sulfate right one copper one sulfate together is one molecule so around each molecule how many water molecules are associated if i ask you a question around each molecule of copper sulfate how many water molecules are associated what you do you will count the number of molecules around each molecule no 1 2 3 4 5 so this copper sulfate has association with five water molecules it has got association with five water molecules that is why copper sulfate formula is CuSO4 dot 5H2O. So that means around each formula. Okay, see around around each formula formula or each molecule. I can say around each molecule. You know, five H2Os are there. Okay, five H2Os are there. So that is what we call water of crystallization. Okay, see. around copper sulfate five h2os are there right so just like i have explained you the example of pizza for the first person okay how many paneer uh, pieces have come one and a half for the second person how many paneer pieces uh, have come one and a half third person has got two paneer piece okay so imagine this is one formula so this is one formula and paneer pieces you relate to the water okay right so For one formula, it's like one and a half H two O's are there, right? Say so that is what the logic here. So why? How come half H two O possible, ma'am? They will ask. How come half H two O possible? Is there something called half H two O? Actually, it means see. See this person, the second person has got how much of paneer? One and a half paneer, isn't it? Just like that. Okay. So maybe, maybe one H two O got trapped. Okay, so maybe uh, uh, between okay, so between between two calcium sulfate, you know, one H two O, one H two O is trapped. Okay, one H two O is trapped. So for each calcium sulfate, how much of H two O is associated? Half a molecule, technically speaking. Technically speaking, half a molecule of H two O is associated. Is that it? so that is the reason half h2o is possible here okay so it is all about it is all about like see for each person one and a half paneer was possible just like that no here each calcium sulfate is associated to half molecule of h2o means there must be one water molecule in between two molecules of calcium sulfate so each molecule will be half a amount of water that is the logic okay and sometimes this water of crystallization that is existed can be a reason for color blue color of copper sulfate is due to this 5h2o green color of ferrous sulfate is due to 7h2o so that water of crystallization can be a reason for color as long as this water of crystallization is there color exists once this goes away color vanishes you can observe that in the beautiful experiment that i am going to show you next don't miss watch the video till the end beautiful experiment is waiting for you hey everyone in this 
video i am showing you demonstration on water of crystallization okay say look at the copper sulfate crystals which are blue in color the blue color of copper sulfate crystals is because of water of hydration is present which we can also call it as water of crystallization as long as the water of crystallization is there in copper sulfate crystals blue color exists once the water of crystallization goes away blue color would become colorless now let us check it out with this particular experiment i have taken a dry test tube you should really take very very dry test tube there shouldn't be any water molecules inside the test tube so if the test tube is not dry just will keep on keeping it towards on a flame so that it becomes dry so now it is almost a dry test tube so i will take few crystals of copper sulfate into it okay so i have taken few crystals and i will heat this crystals now i'll take pretty more crystals and i will start heating it so i have not added water nothing i'm just heating this copper sulfate crystals as i go on heating this whatever water of crystallization is there everything would evaporate see the gas is coming outside actually that is a water vapor see i'll i'll heat it for the more and you can clearly see a gas is actually coming out it is no more a gas it is actually a water vapor okay so i'll furthermore heat it the crystals are converted into colorless blue color whatever you had everything is getting converted into white color so blue color crystals became white color and inside that water drop has formed so where did that water come from it's because of the crystals okay so from the blue color crystals all the water got evaporated and that is how your blue color became colorless okay and you can clearly see the water droplet that is formed inside the test tube and this is what we call evaporation of water of crystallization as long as the water content is there with the crystal it is in blue color once all the water got evaporated blue color also vanishes and it will become a colorless okay so water of crystallization is also a reason why crystals actually have a color see copper sulfate blue color because of 5h2o present iron sulfate look at the crystals of iron sulfate which are in light green color so these are the iron sulfate crystals which are light green color is also because of the water of crystallization present okay so there are 7 h2o present with each molecule of iron sulfate that's why green color 5 h2o is present with each molecule of copper sulfate okay now suppose if i add water back to these crystals what can be the color of copper sulfate say so now let me add few water some water so i'm adding some water on to the white crystals say so i will get blue color back why because water i added back so each crystal got its water of crystallization back that's the reason blue color reappears okay the moment i heat it again water of crystallization evaporates and it becomes a colorless okay so this is how water of crystallization is a reason for the color of many 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 crystals in chemistry so that's all about the video hope you enjoyed the content if you have enjoyed the content please share your opinion in the comment section i'll be waiting